Welcome to Star Family Farm. I'm Christy, and as you can see, again, RJ is not here. So, anyway, um, he is actually taking, for the first time in a long time, just a personal weekend. He's not roping. He's not working. He's not here on the farm. He's just taking a personal weekend. So, that's good. It's the first of one that he's done in a long, long time. So, it's a good thing. Um, we'll start out in, in the chapel, Genesis 126. It's my favorite verse in the entire Bible. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea and over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now there's two definitions of dominion. Okay. God gave us control of those things, but nowhere does it say sheep, horses, other mammals, any of that stuff. It says over all the earth, which means gardening, and it says all creepy things, which is bugs and yuckies and whatever. So um, it specifically mentions fish in the sea for eating, fowl in the air, and cattle. So... Um, I like to think in my mind that I am living in dominion with our farm and in harmony. So that's my take on it. It's probably wrong and somebody's probably going to say something and we'll get to that in just a little bit. So we're going to move on to um, in the barn stalls. Yeah. So today we're going to do a little bit different because I know you guys are probably kind of tired of hearing me say, well, this is it. This is it. So. I'm going to do a little editing, which is something we normally don't do, but I got a different phone, so it's better picture. I'm going to edit in, I believe, in the barn stalls. I've got a clip of the sheep and the goats. I've got a clip of Star, and I've got a clip of the new baby chicks. So, here you go. Hey, you. <laughs> Okay, hope you enjoyed those little clips. I know they're not much, but hey, it's an actual view of what's going on here. So um, it's still really muddy, really drizzle. So that brings us right into mending fences. Mm-hmm. I got tired of the mud. My little car just can't take it anymore. And so here's what's in mending fences. I did that. 
I got tired of it and I didn't tell anybody and I just RG was like what are you doing today I said I'm waiting on a rock a load of rock he goes what and so I said just mind your own business he comes out and they dumped the load of rock and then I took the tractor and just it's not the best job in the world and RJ did have to finish it up for me but hey it is less mud in my driveway I'm happy <laughs> there is this is the wettest Oklahoma has been in a long long time so yeah um the ground is still squishy it's still moist it's still mm, whatever you know so anyway all right moving on to in the yarn farm um first things first i did get my kit okay and i didn't show you the patterns but i finished my two my first two squares now they're supposed to be nine by nine okay and this one i got the tension off so um i'm gonna it will block out at nine by nine this one is nine by nine so yeah um and I've got the first two done and I am now on pattern number three and I have eh, almost a full <laughs> okay so pattern number three is being done I only get them once a month but after I do these I'm going to turn around and do uh, I'm going to go find some of the yarn and I'm going to actually make two of these at a time so I will have two sets to make two quilts or two afghans or whatever you call it so yeah okay also in the yarn farm um i really don't even know how to dive into this when i was at Wamego, i teach a class there that you won't find on youtube um it's very basic and one of the questions that was asked when I was in the class because you can sum it up in one one little short paragraph this is what you're gonna learn you know and when people look at me and say are you serious yeah and so I go through the whole class and one gentleman this year looked at me and he says why have I not seen this on YouTube why is this not something that's being discussed across YouTube and across the world and you know why are you the only one saying this um, I was pretty blunt with him and I told him that because I don't like the comments that I get from the fiber world and others that watch the video I said I'm not one to I just don't want to hear it and I said and the people that are on YouTube as a general um, not our followers okay and this is not discussing any of you guys we love you guys but a lot of our newest people seem to leave negative comments we are still a family friendly channel we want you to come here and be able to read all the comments that go with the video and if there's something in the in the comments that it pertains to the video and is a good point you know we want to pin it up to the top we want you to feel safe with your children coming to this channel and know that regardless of what YouTube does and is this video uh, made for children no but it's made with a family in mind okay so you won't hear cussing swear you won't see negative stuff on that remark okay so I explained to him why we don't put it on YouTube and uh, he said it was a shame and I said well you know you can learn it here at the farm or here at Wamego and he said well I'll be back taking any of your classes that you have he says regardless of whether they're traditional or not and I said, well, good. So we have a lifelong customer in him. But that brings me to this morning. I wake up and I get a message on my phone that we have a comment. And I'm going to read it to you word for word. Okay. The only comment that this person put, your mom is a beep. Mm-hmm yeah that really pertains to our thing so it was deleted and that brings me to our business part of it you know why it's being said in the yarn farm this is still an extension of our farm if you 
feel the need to say something negative, feel free to email me. On YouTube, Facebook, I still have that delete key and I don't play. I don't answer them. I don't do anything. So if you're new to the channel, leaving comments like that, it's just going to get you delete. And if you continuously leave comments like that, it's going to get you blocked. Just saying. And we shouldn't have to address this every, I think we haven't addressed this in probably two years. I don't think we've had any trouble. But here lately, everybody is just, you know, you don't like me, don't watch, don't care. You know, RJ and I have a different kind of relationship than most people. And he doesn't think I'm that word. And I don't think he's that word. So we get along just fine. But I do appreciate all you that have stuck with us. And some of you I know know me personally. And I appreciate, you know, each and every one of you. But that kind of stuff, if you saw it this morning or whatever, it's gone. It'll continue to be gone. And oh, we won't tolerate it. Okay. We are a family friendly channel. Okay. So what we put on YouTube and what we don't put on YouTube, I'm just not going to hear the negative. Okay. So I know that there are people um, out there that are waiting for me to put my class online. I'm actually thinking I might do it. But then again, this, you know, here I am thinking I'm going to do it. Knowing what results we got last time, we tried to go against the grain. And then to have one of those comments come up, it's like, well, maybe that's, you know, a way that God telling us we, we don't need to put that out there. Just remember, this is what's going to happen. So I don't know yet. I really was right there to put that class online. And now I'm just like, <laughs> no, I'm just. I don't know. I don't like negativity like that. I don't like name calling. I don't like, you want to judge me, judge me for who I am, not who I am on camera, you know, um, and come know me before you say something like that. So anyway, okay, enough of that. And we're moving right along. Like I said, I've got two squares done. Anything else in the yarn farm? Um, I don't think so. Um, in the fields, it is wet. I'm going to go down this afternoon and see if there's any way to get that down there so that we can get that little I want that house started so I can be inside working on it all my all my spare time I enjoy working on things in my spare time so I gotta get the building up first it's still all the parts are laying in the barn just too wet to get them out there so anyway that is what it is um, I do have plenty of gourds that are still drying I've got to go down there and turn those Randall's getting in trouble um, I've got to go and turn those and then basically I've been working a lot. <laughs> oh, I should have said in the yarn or in the, in the farmhouse. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I pulled 89 hours, I think last week and 60 something this week. Next week is another 60 something. And then we will see from there. So, um, yeah, RJ, I am home this weekend, well, this Saturday, and then Sunday I go back, but RJ had an opportunity to take a personal day, and he did. He left last night. He'll be back tomorrow. So, yep, uh, trying to think. Oh, I know a big thing that is RJ's, and you guys can congratulate him. He's not here to tell you himself, but... If you remember last podcast, I think we talked about his 7.7 .7 run. Um, he has been getting really serious with his roping. And one of the things that cowboys do when they're serious about the roping is they look for sponsorships. Now, one sponsor is not going to be the answer to a cowboy. So, the thing that they do is they get a sponsor for ropes, they get a sponsor for picking strings, they get a sponsor for every asset or every facet, you know, of their stuff. So if they need tack, they'll have a sponsor for tack, they'll have a, a sponsor for feed, they'll have a sponsor. Well, it's a long list of things that you can get sponsored for, but they're few and far between. With that said, RJ got his first sponsorship and it's for pick and strings and so and I think ropes but I'm not sure um, I know the pick and strings um, he was 
sponsored by them. And it's Lyle Rope Company. So we appreciate Lyle Rope Company and can't wait. He's going to have patches on his shirt. I've got, he just got the patches in yesterday. I've got a lady who's going to sew them on, very professional. Um, and then we've got a decal for the truck. And let's see what else. Mm, and there goes my phone again. Right Not one I have to take. So, um, yeah. Um, he's now sponsored by Lyle Rope. So if anybody needs anything that is sold by the Lyle Rope Company, he is part of being a sponsor is selling their product. So if you guys need anything from the Lyle Rope Company, call RJ and he can definitely get it to you. Um, I don't know if we said that last uh, podcast or not, but yeah, just get a hold of RJ and he'll fix you up. Um, I think that's about it. We're waiting on lambing season to come. Um, it should be, um, hey, 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 Randall. Randall is starting a fight with Moose. Knock it off. Um, we're waiting on lambing season. We got about two more weeks before it really kicks in. And other than that, we're doing good. So just remember, um, I'm going to call this, I think you can't say that here. <laughs> Or maybe she was called what? No, <laughs> I don't want it drama like that. So we're going to just, you know, yeah, you can't say that here. Just keep in mind and be mindful that we want not just our videos to be family friendly, but the comments as well. So, and if you don't like me, you guys just don't watch. You know, it's that simple. Turn me off. There's an off button, an on button. Yeah, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. For those of you who do continue to watch, we appreciate it more than you know um it's amazing to see and go back and see who all has been following us from the beginning we have some that and they're very quiet people they don't post a lot here and there we have some that have followed us quietly from the beginning and we know you're still here and we appreciate you you don't even have to say anything and we still know you're here and we're happy about that so you guys hang in there i know it's not as long as normal but you did actually have footage of some animals so we will keep you posted especially with lambing season coming so all right i guess i'll talk to you next week bye